one of those days, you know, one of those days where nothing seems to quite go the way you want it to go. Yeah, I've been there. Another one of those recoveries we didn't video. Stop. Welcome back to Prodigal Overland. My name is Brad. If you're new here, welcome. In this video, we're taking it back out to Winrock Park in Oliver Springs, Tennessee. Uh, this park can go either way. When it's wet out there, it's just a muddy mess. And so we were out here with a group of folks on a very wet, very muddy weekend. And surprisingly enough, it did take us long for stuff to start going wrong. You're gonna wanna stick around and see this one, guys. There's lots of action in this video. I hope you enjoy it, and let's see what's coming. There you go. It's another one of those recoveries we didn't video. <laughs> We're too busy doing it. But if you can see Angie here, he beat her tire. And so it was right blocking the trail and we had to tow her off the trail and then now we're gonna see if we can reseed the tire. So what we got going on here is a little bit of starter fluid and the world's worst lighter. We're just trying to seat the tire back on the rim so we can keep going. Whoa! <laughs> wow. Almost. Can you see how it wanted to come? Yeah. So I, need, I didn't have enough up top here. It's a little bit better, actually. Yeah, it did. It, it, yeah, it did like. Wow, that was really cool. I wonder if all the mud's making it not as loud as we would expect. We might be able to get a pump on, on it now. <laughs> Guys, I've seen videos of this going horribly wrong even when it does light. This is not necessarily something I would re recommend anyone doing. Yeah. However, if done properly, it can work. Yeah, get that. Ooh, there we go. Get that. Step back. Ooh, there we got go. it. Woo Got it. All right. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Good job. Nice teamwork. Driver, more driver. Right so there. here we are after we put the tire back on. And this is the line she should have taken in the beginning. Just nice and low. Go with the route. People were trying to climb up the embankment and then they were just slipping down into the sidewall. So little introductions here in the beginning. This is Jimmy. This is the first time Jimmy's ever been out off-road, ever been out off-road with us. And he is driving his relatively new 4xE. This Jeep is completely stock, and this was the very first time he had taken it out off-road. Jimmy let me know that he'd been kind of watching our videos for a while and was sitting on the sideline and finally jumped in and decided to give it a try. And, and he had such a blast. and was actually the only one out of this whole crew nice. that didn't have some sort of trail damage by the end. Nice job. Good job. Along with us on this one, we also had Matt. Matt had been out with us one other time, 
um, he and his wife up in Pennsylvania in Roush Creek, and they decided to come back down and join us in Winrock. We also had Evan back out with us. If you watched our videos at all, you've probably seen Evan and his white Grand Cherokee. Evan has aftermarket armor, uh, mostly from Six Monkeys, I think. Um, and he's riding on the stock tires. And honestly, when I was helping him air down on this trip, I was really thinking he needed to not be on these trails with these tires. Um, he's got some miles on the Jeep now, and really they're due for a change. Does that put a stiff in that same spot? There you go. Good. This is Angie with her Toyota Tacoma. Um, you might know Angie from her Western Loop trip. She had her Jeep Grand Cherokee out with us. She also has this Toyota Tacoma that she kind of outfitted for this trip. And so this was actually her first time wheeling in the Toyota. So after we made it up trail two, we kind of headed east over to trail 26. This is kind of the step section coming down trail 26. Take it slow, hold on, your passenger is gonna drop. Just give me one second to get out of the way. Passenger down, but it's got another drop. Straighten out, straight, straight, straight a little bit. Okay, good. Nice and slow, you're gonna drop more on the passenger, but you're coming down on the driver too. There you go, good. Now straighten out a little bit more. Nice and slow, coming down in the back. And just hold that line for your tail end. Real slow, coming down in the back. Yep, perfect, nice and slow. Nice and slow.
Yep, low passenger as you come. Perfect, right there. A little more passenger, right there. Just nice and slow, you gotta step coming in front of your uh, driver's side tire. Yep, that's great. Hold that line to the passenger. Yep, follow that nice and easy. Now back towards me. Aim driver right towards me. Good, perfect, nice and slow. Straighten out. Yep. Okay. Come a little passenger and you got another big step. More passenger, more, 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 more passenger. Right there, good. Nice and slow, 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 slow. Front is down, your back's coming down. So nice and slow the whole way till your back's down. Back's coming down now. Okay, back towards me. Here comes your back. Good. That line right there is perfect, nice and slow. Nice and slow, coming down. Here it comes, coming down. Good, very good. Yep, passenger, then driver. There's passenger, here's driver. Good, a little bit more passenger for me. Right there, hold that right there. That's the bigger one coming. Yep, you're gonna be fine. More passenger, more passenger. There it is, good. Hold that nice and slow, 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 slow. This trail here is the beginning of Trail 51, better known as Panther Rock. This is a Jeep Badge of Honor trail. This was actually day two of our trip. Uh, we, the, our weekend trips are usually two days of wheeling, um, Saturday and Sunday, so this would be Sunday. And the crew really wanted to do Panther Rock. I had my reservations because of how wet it was. I had been on Panther Rock before when it was really wet and it it's a lot harder, much more towards a black trail uh, when it's wet. Jimmy in the four by E. Yeah. Uh, so, just for fun, stop, just for fun. So you just slipped over a little bit. If you can stay higher on that rock, you'd be okay. The other thing you could have done is maybe tried that and then flip the, the lockers on just to see how they help because you only had one spinning. So, you know, I would say um, come forward where you're at and see if you can climb that rock and then we'll play with your lockers a little bit and I'll show you what they do. Yeah, that's okay. Are you locked in the front? Do you have front and rear lockers on? Do you have any lockers on? So first do rear and see if you can come up. And if that doesn't work, we're gonna do front. Just where, don't, don't, don't back up. I wanna, I'll show you what it can do. So just straight where you're at, that's fine. Go a bit of passenger, yeah. Okay, so we have rear locked up. So let's see if it'll go from there. Okay, so back up just a smidge and then put your front lockers on as well. Now front, front and rear should be locked up. Okay. <laughs> so 
so silent. <laughs> Alright, Evan, we're gonna come around this way if we can. You gotta just keep it moving. This section of the trail is a really tough crossover section. Uh, we had come in from the east and we were about to turn right and head down towards Panther Rock. And I was trying to get people to kind of scoot across. I knew it would be a challenge um, because you have to hit the throttle at the right time or else you slip into a ditch, which is what Evan ended up doing here. You think he's about to come up on that side? Yeah. Try just a little bit more that way and see if it'll climb. Okay. Once we got to this point, uh, Evan was kind of good and stuck down in the ditch, and we needed to get him back up on no. the right path, so we ended up just hooking a line to him. One of the challenging things about this trail is how many tree roots and how narrow these sections are. And then when it's muddy and you have zero traction, um, it gets extra challenging. So as you can see here, Evan had slid into the embankment. We're trying to keep him off that tree so that it doesn't scrape down his whole door. So we ended up hooking another line to his front end so that we could pull him sideways off of that root um, before we kept pulling him backwards. A 
Okay, stop. Stop. Evan, hard driver in drive. Angie, let your line out. Stop, Evan. Just stop. A minute. You're going to fall back in. You're okay. Your tire's not on it. Everybody can stop. Stop. Good job, guys. Nice job. So Angie was next up. This is the exact same section. She's got a longer wheelbase and definitely better tires. And you can see how she can make it through. Hey, you still got the box there. It's all right. She can go right over them. Keep on going. Come back. Come back. Easy peasy. Good job. Just ride the track. I'm gonna roll you there, you're gonna clear it just fine. Good job, I'm gonna get out of your way here. Good. Brad's down a little further. There you go. You're doing great. There you go, coming down. As you come around this corner, you're gonna kinda of wanna come a little driver before you start making that turn. Just so you're not so close to that tree. Straighten them out, straight, straighten them out a little bit. You turn too hard. There you go. All right, now forward just a little bit and now hard passenger. Hard, 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 hard. There you go. Going down, you're gonna slide that groove and just go ahead down behind Matt there. Good job. Hi. So here's Matt. Matt is resting a little bit on his door against a, a root outcropping. With these ditches out there, like I said, they just oh. kind of put you where you want. They want to put you, and even if you try to stay out of them when it's wet like this, often you end up slipping in. Um, so what we end up doing is just hooking a line to a front of him and just pulling him off the route. I want him to pivot on that back wheel. He's away. He's good. He Clear. Okay. A little drop. Going down. So after having Matt kind of laid up because he ended up going in that ditch, we tried to see if we could keep Evan out and stay high on the embankment. So we're going to try that here with him so that he avoids the roots completely.
where they are. Just come forward. Little passenger. Yep, right there. One more passenger. Yep. Now driver. Driver. Keep going. Keep coming. You're okay. Keep coming. Uh, try, try to get up here if you can. That's good. No, don't turn them so hard. No. Stop. Stop. So after Evan was unable to kind of stay out of that groove, we brought him down and then ended up hooking a line up to him as well. Can he climb up on that little hump here and come my way? Gotcha. He's gonna... I think I'm just gonna run a line to you and pull you over as you come down so you stay off this Yeah, perfect. Good. Good. Good line. Even slightly driver. Little driver. That's it. Just that. Keep that. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. And you're going to have to keep steady. But hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Oh. Stop. 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 You're on your step. Let's see. Go slow. Yep. You're off. Your step took it. So now hard this way. So after we had to pull out winches three separate occasions to get us down to Panther Rock, instead of enjoying the view, I started walking back up the way we had to go out to try to find us a line that hopefully would be a little bit easier. So Matt was trying to get through that same section and just kept slipping towards the tree here. It's really tough on these sections because you want to use to more throttle so that you can kind of bump through. But when you use more throttle, when Go things are really that. slick, your vehicle has the tendency to kind of wag back and forth, which when you have two trees on either side is a good idea. So this is Sandy Cat's kinetic rope. I'll link them below, um, but this connect rope, we just need a little bit of tug to get Matt up through this really slippy section. We're gonna go, Matt, so just slow and steady. Go ahead, Jimmy. Keep it steady. Perfect, you're over it, keep going. Driver, driver, stop, 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 stop. Good. Your tire's clear in the back here. Good job. Yep, you're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Yeah, I'm now back to the plane. But actually, we're going to probably need you, so don't go far. Okay. <laughs> so just right, right up here is fine. A little bit further. There you go. Good. Stop. stop. We had taken this line before and I knew when I was walking this line that this area here would be the biggest issue because there's a steep step and another tree root that's just right out in the way. Uh. 
can see here, we just clipped the fender on the root and off it came. Luckily, these things are fairly easy to put back on, so it's back on now and all is well. Here's a walkie if you need or you have. So when Jimmy and the others saw me kind of rip my rear fender off, they opted to try a different route, which is what they're trying to do here. How'd that feel? <laughs> Not, breathing. Not breathing. So Jimmy actually was able to make it through without any issues, which gave encouragement to Matt. However, obviously the Grand Cherokee and the Wrangler are two completely different platforms, uh, but Matt still liked his odds on this one. Slow and steady, no bouncing. No bouncing on the brake. You got it. Good job. Once we got Matt down into the ditch, we were able to kind of back him up and get his front end pointed the correct direction. Stop! Okay, he's gonna have to straighten out. Straighten out, he's gonna tip! going to tip if he doesn't get that tire underneath him. You sure? Because the Grand Cherokee doesn't have anywhere near the articulation a Wrangler does, Matt's experience with this line was a little bit different. We ended up just hooking a line to him, kind of pulling him level, and then once we had that him level, he was able just to drive out. So after getting Matt through in his Grand Cherokee, Evan was next. And so we ended up taking him through the same line I did um, in my Gladiator, but decided that we would kind of pre-hook a line up to him because we knew he wasn't going to be able to climb out of there. And with line on him, we had hoped that we could kind of keep him off the tree roots that got me. Just a little bit of help from you, not a lot. And just a little bit of throttle from you, Evan. He's just stuck. Hold on. Pause. He's past. There you go. There you, go. you got it. You got, you got it. it. You got it. Straighten your tire. Uh, 
All right. All right. Good job. Woo. All right. If you come through, we're going that way. Okay. Are right, you ready? Okay, you're in a good place to pull. Good. Yeah. She wants to come up high. Once we got Angie to the same section that everybody else had kind of pulled line, we just hooked her up right away. And I was really hoping that her stair steps would be enough to keep her door off of those roots. Your back is good and clear right now. You are clear on the back. Straighten your tires. Straighten your tires first. Okay. Stop. Stop. Okay. All right. If you go straight from there, you'd be okay. I think you're going to come right off. Well, you pulled yourself off of it, so there you go. Good. Good. Keep going. Stop. Let the winch do it. It's just a, bra a branch. Don't worry about it. You're good. Good job. Watch out, just get off the... One more. Okay, driver. Driver. Yep. Forward. Yep, looking good. Sorry, you just hit that one right there. Um, you can. Yep. Yeah, Hold that. Just watch this big boulder here. So hold driver a little bit longer. Yep, come forward. Perfect. Straighten out, Jimmy. It's okay. Okay, start coming driver. That's good. Your back might kick out that way, that's fine. Hard driver. Yep. Straighten out, yep. Good. By this time we had been on this trail for the vast majority of the day. You can see here that that sun is setting um, we were almost out at this point, and man, I know we all just wanted things to go okay, good. smoothly from here on There's out. There's a rock here. Tell Evan to wait. Hard passenger. Good. You're okay. Good. Okay, you're good. 
Should be good from there. I can see his uh, sky, bro. You're going to have to walk me. Through here. Okay, you, you can't see me? Yeah, I can see you. So straight from there. Yep, you look good. A little bit driver. Yep, perfect. Keep coming. Slow roll for me. Keep coming. Keep coming, Nevin. You gotta, you gotta keep moving. Good. Now come, passenger. Good. Yep. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving, driver. You gotta, you're gonna have to kind of bump over this route. Can you go from there or no? Straighten out your wheels. Yep. Good. Keep coming. You just got to bump that back tire over the route. Okay, stop. All right. You look good from there. Just come on up. Yep. Passenger. Keep coming. Little driver. Little driver. Good. Keep coming. Keep coming. Dry, go driver just a touch for me and see if it'll go right there. Can you go from there? Okay, back up. Okay, you know you got it. Yep. Perfect. Keep coming. Okay. It's okay. You're in a good line, so just back up and just give it a little bump forward. Looks good, Angie. Little driver, good. Keep coming, keep coming, perfect. Yeah, looks good. Looks real good. Good, hold that line, because we gotta get clear your back end. Okay, now driver. Yep. Keep going driver for me, good. Okay, straighten passenger. We'll go from there. Now you got a big rock over here, so not too far. Little bit driver, you went too far passenger. A little bit more, back up just a smidge and then give it just a little bump. Stop, and then just a little bump forward. Okay, you got a rock, big rock on the passenger side. So yep, driver. Yep. And then as you come up, you're going to come passenger. Driver, driver. Yep. You're just long. You're long. Good. Passenger, passenger. Good. Okay. So by this point, we're almost off this trail um you can see there i guess to my passenger side there's a big ditch that's an, kind of the main line that you can go down we came up kind of the bypass to get out of here and so we just had to kind of scoot around these tree roots without slipping into the ditch um, and we should be home free You're okay. A little bit passenger from me. Yep. Good. Now straighten out. Yep. Straight from there. I can't hear you. Oh, straight from there. You're okay. You're just settling. It's just that one that likes to keep throw rolling. your tail. Just keep rolling for me. <laughs> I got to be honest, on this one, my heart kind of just sunk. Um, there was this big puddle. I had no way to see what was there. Um, 
had not remembered this being there, probably because it wasn't filled with water at that time. Um, and I got myself hung up right in the middle of it. What we ended up doing was just hooking a line to me, pulling me backwards, and then I took this line that they got, they're taking here, where one wheel is up on the bank and the other one is down. So there you guys go, that is Panther Rock. You know, as I'm editing these videos, I'm looking at this, even when I was on the trail, I thought, man, we should not be on here. But you know, it's also that kind of adventure you have in the moment you're maybe frustrated or tired and you just wanna get off. But then afterwards you have all these memories of how you overcame something together as a team. And I know for the people that came out there, they just had a blast. Um, we were able to kind of debrief after the trail once everybody was off and on pavement and everybody got home safely. Uh, I ripped off a fender. We had a couple small dents in, I think, both Grand Cherokees kind of in the sides where they had kind of rested on there. Angie had a rear fender dent. And like I said, Jimmy and his 4xE had no damage. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun being out there and fun making this video. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys again real soon.